Excellent. Get started. Just gonna reset this real quick. Okay, we're set. All set. Excellent. Here we go. Super Mario World. You guys voted, here we play it. This is Dinosaur Land. Princess Toolstool is missing again. Looks like Bowser is at it again. You don't say. See how rusty I am at Mario World. Oh dang, couldn't duck fast enough. <laughs> Just went right around it. Oh man. Off to a little bit of a rough start. That's okay. That's alright. It's alright that we're off to a rough start. It's Mario World. And I got three lives from that, so that worked out really well. And Yellow Switch Palace activated. So this is still probably my all-time favorite Mario game. 
Easily. Oh, jeez. Fail. dinosaur coins right now. We're gonna get high scores and get bonus lives. I like how I've already gained seven lives. I like the virtual console version of this game very much, though. There's some ghosting going on, it's weird. I don't know, I'll need to check it on, uh, BSNES later. I would just check it on my actual Super Nintendo, but it's unfortunately packed up right now. Yeah, there's like slight ghosting. I don't feel like that's normal. And the screen doesn't scroll as smooth as I think it should either. But I don't know. I honestly don't know. Yoshi's Island 4. If I can do this still. Nope, messed it up. So close. Look <laughs> how I already have 18 lives now. as smooth as I feel like it should. I don't know for sure, but like I said, I'll test it later on BSNES. Since I know that's a perfect emulator. Wow. 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 
Jeez. Way to fail. I failed that pretty good right now. I like how the egg can say thank you. Donut land. And this power up made this entire game far too freaking easy. Far too easy. I'm gonna try to just do a 96 star run tonight. honestly what most of the entire game looks like though. Oh, when getting shot in the face. That was harsh. Green Switch Palace. <coughs> mm. Excuse me. Oh crap. That was almost bad. Oh jeez. Failure of the most extreme kind right here. So sad. So sad right now. That's alright. do this the more complicated way. She was waking up a second ago. Ugh. I hate these jumps without the feather. There we go.
that's funny. Oh, fail. There we go. I know what all this is supposed to look like, and I know what I'm supposed to do to make it look like that, but... It's been a while since I played. So, we'll try to do it. I hate auto-scrolling levels. They make you wait for them so much. What? I, I question that one, but whatever. It's whatever. That's what happens when you look at your phone, you get killed by a bird. Moral of the story? Don't look at your phone while playing games. Without pausing. See, Funk, what's up, buddy? Yeah, this is my all-time favorite Mario game. Like, hands down. Easily. How you doing tonight, man? How'd your Ocarina of Time stream go? Ah, let's get top secret zone. Yeah, I'm not interested in that crap. Alright. Oh, that was almost really bad. Not interested in all the one-ups. I already have 20. I was only three away from another bonus game. <laughs> That's pretty great. So, for anyone who's never played this, Top Secret Zone is just a cheap resupply area where you just get every uh, power-up in the game. Doing this kind of weird tonight, but whatever. So, like every Mario game before it, there's uh, secret warps you can do in this game. And so, if I wanted to, I could beat this level going the secret route, beat the next ghost house with a secret route and um, beat like three more levels, and I'd be at the end of the game, if I wanted to be. Um, I was, uh, I had my kids screaming at me at the time, so I couldn't really hear your voice, C-Funk, unfortunately. So I'll have to catch it next time. And then we were uh, doing a farm visit, so I couldn't stick around for very long. I only stayed there for about five minutes, unfortunately. But I wanted to drop by, show some support. But did your stream go good? Did it go well?
trying really hard to remember all the secrets in this game right now. I unfortunately do not remember every secret to this game right now. I feel like they'll come back to me as I play it. They usually do. And I mean, I barely beat this game again a couple months ago. It shouldn't be too hard. Okay, that's right, I remember this now. So, you run over here, you grab that, you fly up here. Yeah, that's it. And then you fight the boss Big Boo over here. There goes Big Boo. Jakey the Rocker. He told you to be consistent. Yeah, so there's Star Road. Do I want to beat Star Road in special first, C Funk, or do I want to do the rest of the game and do those last? How do I want to do it? Do I want to beat Star Road and Special? Or full game then Star World and Special? I did get it. Whole game first? Okay. Let's do it. Beat, uh... We'll beat all eight worlds and Bowser and then do Star World. And special. Sounds good. Oh, wow, that was awful. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. That was so epic right there. Well, I'm going to try to make it through as much of the game tonight as I can. And then finish it tomorrow night, if I didn't finish it tonight. Yeah, yeah. World, Star World, Special World, Bowser. I'm gonna have to beat Bowser twice, regardless, so. Need to beat that ghost house normally still. Hold on. Oh, I need to beat this stupid level normally first, too. I hate underwater levels. They are my bane. Yeah. 
Oh. You dumb fish. Like how there was a Yoshi coin up there. Oh crap. That didn't work out like it was supposed to. Um, I played Mario Brothers 2 and Super Mario World and part of Super Mario Brothers 3 on the Game Boy Advance versions. I didn't mind uh, Mario Brothers. Um, two and three, they played good. I didn't like, uh, I didn't care for the port of Super Mario World as much. Sorry, had to hand something to, uh, to my wife real quick. Whoa! Try to kill myself. Remember this was tricky. You had to like fly up here. Or you could use the vine to get up there. Dang it, stupid ghosts. Yeah, I need to go this way. That's how you get out of here quick. You can take over rock and run. You don't have to. Yeah. Like, it's not a bad game at all. Like, it's still the same great game. It just, um, the different aspect ratio. I was so used to this version because I would replay this version all the time. And, um, I don't know. The Game Boy Advance version was cool because it gave you, like, your own, like, your proper Luigi and all that. But, I don't know. Just felt weird. And the fact that it kept track of dinosaur coins was cool too. Like overall it was great, it just uh, felt weird to me. Yeah, the ports of Mario Brothers 2 and 3 I really enjoyed. Um, and correction, I did play Super Mario World 2, Super Mario Advance 3, was that one I believe? And I did not like that one. Wow, I cannot hit this thing. Because Super Mario World 2 used a Super FX chip and had some really awesome graphics to it. And then when they ported it to Game Boy Advance, of course the Game Boy Advance wasn't powerful enough to do Super FX. So they like butchered the graphics. And I don't know. I was so used to that one too that it just looked stupid to me. Like, that's the one I got on my Ambassador GBA, I mean, on my Ambassador 3DS, and I just can't stand it. Whoa. Bye, Yoshi. Yoshi wanted none of that, man. So <laughs> Sonic 1 on GBA. I never played, uh, I never played that one. Like, they did that port that had all four of the original Sonics, didn't they? Yeah, I never touched that. They had 
some decent... Like, some of the Sonic advances I remember being somewhat decent. I need to revisit Game Boy Advance era, man. So, there's a secret up here. But it's really hard to get to. Because of these stupid things. Well, I can't get it now, crap. <laughs> Alright. Awful frame rate sound and music. Sounds about right. I mean, that was right after Sega went multi plat too, so like, they're developing for hardware that's not their own for the first time ever. The Sonic Advance games were awesome. I was never... I was never the massive Sonic fan. Back in the day. Like, I didn't play... The only Sonic that I played regularly was Sonic 2 on Game Gear. Way back when. ridiculous how much uh, you can remember a game that you played a ton of. Come on, pop up. There we go. No, I was just an SNES guy, and I just never saw a reason to have a Genesis. At the time. Because, I mean, I had the SNES. My buddy had a Genesis. If I really wanted to play something on Genesis, I'd go to his house. Like, the only Genesis game that I ever really wanted a Genesis for was Dune, Battle of Arrakis. Uh, one of Westwood's uh, early RTS games. Like, uh, that stream I did a couple months ago, where I was cleaning that Sega Genesis, Sega CD, and Sega 32X, that's the first Genesis I've ever owned. And, like, I know a lot more better games for Genesis now than I did when I was a kid, obviously, so... I like having it. Did I get everything that was over here? Yeah, I got everything that was over here. And Genesis just didn't have Mega Man X, and let's be honest, that was 90% of my childhood. have a Yoshi so I can't get that eat early.
That cost me my life to get that extra life. <laughs> that was too bad. Wasn't smart. I should have just played it smart. Oh, hey, there we go. All right, let's see if we can do this. I don't think we can. I usually have a Yoshi for this part to do this early. Worth a shot. Nice. It's a good history. Let's see here. That was SNES, N sixty four. GameCube, Xbox, PS2. Game Boy Advance somewhere in the middle of all those. Oh, and Game Boy and Game Boy Color also somewhere back in N64 time also. Um, well, it's GameCube, Xbox, PS2, 360, Wii, PS3. Xbox One. No, Wii U, Xbox One. Oh, jeez. Wii U, Xbox One. PS4. And then Switch. I prefer GameCube and Xbox over PS2 by a long shot. Like, PS2 got all the good, all the games on it, but it was just such a inferior console overall compared to GameCube and Xbox. Like, that's why it makes me laugh when people talk about power differences between current gen consoles. Like, really? Does it really matter that much? PS2 was half the power of the original Xbox and it slaughtered it. PS2 was 25% less powerful than the GameCube, and it slaughtered it. <laughs> like, specs do not matter at all. It just goes to show you, if you got good marketing and a good, uh... Good marketing and good games, it doesn't matter how powerful your console is. Like, literally the least important thing about a console. Oh, wow, I failed that miserably. Jeez. I, I, I was too busy trying to look at your chat. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, and I also got a Dreamcast after I had a 360. That was a fun time when I got my Dreamcast. So I got a Dreamcast like 2006. And the Dreamcast was my second Sega console ever after the Game Gear. Forgot that I had a Game Gear back in the 90s. Jeez, you can't do anything on this level if you're small, man. Yeah, they did do a massive port job of most of the good Dreamcast games, which is cool and sucks at the same time. I missed the line where you said you have still yet to play Dreamcast or uh, PS4. It's fun to play on Dreamcast just for the sake of playing on it. And, uh... PS4s... Unless you really like Sony exclusives. And if you've never played them, why would you? Same thing as a PC or an Xbox One. With better resolution than Xbox One, so I mean... There's that. Let's lose Yoshi after five seconds of being on his back. That makes sense. This level sucks with the Yoshi. This is the level everyone always used to grind lives. I just played the game and got lives naturally, so I never needed to do that. I mean, look at that. I'm already at 32 lives, and I've been playing like crap. On this thing called the Dreamcast, dude. In today's day and age, how many people even know what a freaking Dreamcast is? Look, it's Echo the Dolphin. If you land on the dolphins just right and jump again, you can keep flying. It's freaking awesome. I messed up. Oh. Dolphins, catch up! Puffer fish is too fast! Nope, the dolphins are too slow. Forget the dolphins. They couldn't keep up with this. Something 
Yeah, my first Sonic game was Sonic 2 for Game Gear. I think I mentioned that already this stream, but that doesn't matter. It's fun. It's fun info. I hate this level. These dumb little fish. Oh. It's one of the reasons why I hate this level. Those fish don't die. Forgot about that. Your cat really wants in. Dude, I remember that about the Game Boy Advance version. That was gnarly to me, that you can eat the fish. I mean, the dolphin. Falling spikes, they're like so slow, but you're underwater, so you don't have any good movement, so it's so terrifying when they come close to you. Oh, wow. Fail. Alright. I'm gonna fight these guys with uh, just mushrooms. Got it. Resnor. No, I didn't jump. Crap. <laughs> Some Game Gear games were unlockable in Sonic Adventure DX. That's cool. The first time I played Sonic Adventure was the PC version of 1. First time I played Sonic Adventure 1, I mean. I played Sonic Adventure 2 Battle on GameCube. Sometimes it's good to be small. Thwomps are just so menacing. Benefit of being small, you get to skip that stupid section with the falling spikes. I get another one of those right now. No fish! Dang it. That sucked. There we go. I like to beat them without having to jump on their platforms. That's like my test of skill in this game. Alright, let's just beat these. Stupid butter bridge. The only reason I hate this level is because it's a forced moving camera. Other than that, it's a pretty cool level. You have to jump on these things and make sure they don't f like drop too high or too low. And sometimes you need them to go higher. And like it's super fun. Other than that forced camera scroll. It's the only thing that ruins this level for me. Oops. Bye, Yoshi.
And then you just write this one down. I never played Sonic 1 Game Gear version. I really like Sonic 1 on uh, Genesis though. If I was gonna pick my favorite Genesis Sonic game, it's probably 1. don't want me to have a cape. I almost didn't jump again, that would have been hilarious. Alright, let's do this this time. Let's go over here this time. If it's stars, I can never get the star pattern right. If it's mushroom or flowers, I can usually get it. Like I said earlier in the stream, this power-up made this game far too easy. You literally do this like 70% of the game. Okay, well I'm not gonna beat Ludwig, because I need to go and beat Vanilla Dome. I think I need the blue Switch Palace before I can do that one right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Alright, Seafunk, what was your first Mario game? What was everyone's first Mario game that might be in chat? Oh! Ah, it wasn't fun. Bye, Big Boo. Sorry, I much prefer capes over the uh, flower. Hey, hey, what's up, AT? This is the first one? This is the first one you've ever played? Awesome. 
First game you ever played. Nice. Yeah. Green bubble of death. Just got here because you're tired of video editing. How's it going? Save! You're here too! Welcome! First game you ever played as well, that is so awesome. At least console-wise. <laughs> How'd your stream go, Save? I saw that you were streaming, but I was, uh... I was out with the family earlier, so I couldn't pop in and say hi. Aw, oh, this is a level you want Yoshi on. You just stand still and don't even have to do anything. If I hadn't have played an Atari 2600, this would have been my, my first game also. Super Mario World F-Zero and Pilot Wings, 1992. Nice. is rendering. It's gonna take about two to three hours. Nice. You uploading it tonight? is how you get him to kill himself, so you don't even have to worry about it. Oh jeez. <laughs> Just try to kill myself. <coughs> Went alright, I was trying out my new cam and whatnot with OBS. Had some issues, but it went okay. Well, that's good to hear. I'll have to go back and, uh, Check it out on your channel. I saw you were playing Earth Defense Force. Never played any of those games, so I'm curious. If you don't see any mistakes, yes. Ah, sure. I'm sure it's fine. So, I never realized how loud an Xbox One controller was until I'm sitting here watching the mic, like, click every time I press the button. <laughs> the little audio level just jumps up every time I press the D-pad. It's just something I don't even think about because I'm playing a game. I normally have the audio up a lot louder than I do when I'm playing this, uh, than when I'm playing these games. Like, I can barely hear the audio, the game audio, personally. Because it picks up on the mic, so I don't want to wear a headset, so I just, like, eh, I don't need game audio. I know these games. <laughs> And then my microphone's just shooting up every time I click the D-pad. It's hilarious. <laughs> this beat will always be fire. This game had some awesome music. Alright, time for my... Lemmy's and Wendy's Castle are my two least favorite, and I can't decide which one I hate more. My arcade stick for my PS2 sounds like a popcorn machine. I cannot use that in the dead of night. That's hilarious. Ah, uh, it's always because of, uh, Mr. Doofus here. 
just ruins my whole life right here. And it's like, if you can get over here, get this done before he respawns, you're pretty set. Ah! Nope, nope, nope. Oh, good, we made it. I can't stand this, um, I can't stand the beginning of that level, guys. I really can't. I'm glad I made it fairly simply. But yeah, I, I can't, ugh. I finally picked up my first arcade stick, um, like in December. It's just a cheap one, but I wanted it for a Raspberry Pi emulation arcade I made. And I didn't need it to be the best, so I just got like this $60 Mayflash one, and it works pretty good. And it can work on Xbox One and PS4, so if I ever decide to try to be good at Street Fighter V, I, I'll have a fight stick. So that's something. Oh, so since I couldn't stream last night, I decided to do some uh, Street Fighter 2 videos. So I ended up beating the story mode on the three Street Fighter 2 games on Super Nintendo on Dolphin. That was pretty fun. Oh, I missed. Oh. Dude, I just kicked him in the butt. Dude, Raspberry Pi 3s are actually pretty cool. You could do so much with them, I didn't even realize. So, like, I have um, two SD cards, and one is, like, just a portable emulation box. And the other one's, like, a portable media box. Plus, uh, the entire Linux distro, so, like, just portable computer. Like, they're so cool. Alright, for sure, save. Thanks for stopping in, man. You have yourself a wonderful night, and we'll see you next time. And, uh, I hope I catch your stream next time you do it. Does this level give you a... No, it does not give you a Yoshi. This level needs a Yoshi. Alright. This level needs a Yoshi, guys. This is my favorite level to do with a Yoshi. So, we're gonna go get a Yoshi. I don't even care. I just committed suicide. Because I want Yoshi. Because this is seriously the easiest freaking level to cheese. And, like, it's my favorite level for that very reason. My stick is a PS1 stick. Sam gave it to me for Christmas. It uses digital inputs, and you can use it with early PS1 games, which don't support analog. That's nice. That is very nice. So, I was trying to think of something absurd to do on my Xbox One the other day. I have my original Xbox here sitting next to me. And I have two Duke controllers. And I need... I mean, I don't need... I mean, I love the Duke controller. Everyone always bashed on it, but I loved that thing. I loved that thing so much. And so, I was looking online to see if I could get a set of adapters that would allow me to convert the Duke up to Xbox One. Okay, that level's so great we're gonna do it twice. Because you have to sacrifice your Yoshi to get the uh, second exit.
and I didn't feel like sacrificing my Yoshi having to go all the way back to top secret zone when I could just beat the level normally and then sacrifice him. But yeah, that's why I love this level. You just bounce off these buzz saws and just keep flying. They're just perfectly spaced that you can just do that. Not even a care in the world about hitting that last one. And bam. Bye, Yoshi. You served me well for those two playthroughs of this level, bud. Bonus game! They keep giving me star. Well, it's my best star attempt yet. Ugh, I hate this level so much. Soda Lake is the worst. These torpedoes just get so freaking gnarly. Ah! And they just spawn so freaking fast! It's nuts! It's nuts! Oh my gosh! No! I don't know how to do it. There we go. I hate it. This level gives me anxiety. Oh my gosh, we're past the worst of it. Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, I spoke way too soon. Flee! Flee for your lives! Oh crap. Oh crap. Stupid fish. Oh, I'm gonna bonk my head. Yep. Oh, we made it. I don't know how, but we made it. That was awful. <laughs> Seriously, is my least favorite level in the entire game. Yeah. Dude, the, um, Fortress in World 8 for Bowser's World, that one is tough, too. going a lot better than the last time I tried to play through this whole game. About an hour in, and we're already uh, to Castle 4. That's way better than the last time I played it. Last time I played this, it took me like four or five hours to beat the whole thing. So we're going to beat that time. Oh, was it tubular? The one where you had to do the, uh, like, flying Mario, like the inflated Mario? So that one does suck. Whoa, whoa, why'd you turn around, Mario? What was that about? That was weird. Seriously, is so cheap how you could do this, like, through so much of the game. Oh, 
All right. Ludwig's castle. I remember this level giving me a lot of trouble. Last time I played it. That would be why. Oh, crap. Come on. had to beat it recently. Yeah, that one's gonna be, uh, that one'll be tough. I don't remember the timing very well. I'm, I, I'm seriously relying on nothing but muscle memory for the majority of this game right now. Oh, that's right, you're the easy one. Just spin around, spin around, springboard jump at me, try to blow fire on me, I jump on your face. <laughs> Super Smash Brothers 4. <laughs> How do they pronounce it? I'll need to look that up. Do they call him Ludwig? They probably call him Ludwig. <laughs> I like how the bush gets a freaking band-aid. Even on the overworld, when the overworld comes back up, the bush goes grows bigger and gets a band-aid. <laughs> Forest of Illusions. This this was an annoying world because literally every single level had a secret. how much I think of uh, flower power. I don't even want it. It's not even worth my time. Ah, oh, Yoshi. Come on, man. Can't be doing that. Oh, crap. Can't be doing that either. I'm scared. Oh, crap. Dude, look how chubby he is. His cheeks, man. Them cheeks are large and in charge. I wish this would run out like you could push a button to make it run out faster. Ludwig. <laughs> That's so horrible. Like, how can you even do that? Ludwig von Koopa. Yeah. Forest of Illusions is the weak link. Easily. Oh crap! <laughs> Sacrifice Yoshi for the greater good! Oh jeez. Alright, get it. We'll just do it the easy way. 
Don't want to deal with angry uh, caterpillar down there. There we go. Does nobody in Mario find it creepy? No, does nobody find it creepy that everything in Mario has eyes? It is slightly creepy. Like these trees. Why do these trees have eyes? These trees don't need to have eyes. Ugh. My despisal of water levels can never truly be understated. There's so many in this game, too. Oh, Poop Smith. Oh, I wanted to fast swim, not kill you. Oh, jeez. I think this is the most I've played through this game without a Yoshi. Like, ever. Oh, man. Will you guys quit stealing my blocks that I want to use to swim faster? <sighs> Fine. Down you go. Oh jeez. Dang fish. No, I'm not even going to bother with the block this time. I'm going to pick it up and one of you will just run right into it. I've, I've already played this. I've already played this story. Jeez, Rip Van Fish is going nuts. I remember when I discovered this secret, I was so ecstatic. <coughs> Pro tip, don't die. <laughs> Thanks, Zero. Ah, I don't like this one, so forget it. Yay! I've never beaten Paper Mario. AT. I've never beaten Paper Mario. I don't know why. Like, it looked like a really fun game. I just never... Played it and beat it. How you doing, Zero? Has been forever, man. Where you been? I get for wanting to do fast swim again. Dang it. Second favorite N64 game? Dang. I'll have to go through and try it one of these days. It's not that I've never, like, actually had anything against the game. I just never tried it. And then never ever went back to it. So, such is life. Um, did you have an original Xbox, AT? I like how that charging chuck, like, summons all the fish. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
This level's lame. All these bubble guys are weird. It's funny, I talk about how much I like this game and then I'm just like, oh, this level's lame. That level's lame. This level's lame. <laughs> just bash it incessantly. Xbox One was your first Xbox console. Dang. That's too bad. Um, I was gonna see if you had ever played uh, Kingdom Under Fire. For the original Xbox. So that was... This awesome... Real-time strategy slash RPG. Slash thing. Like, it's so cool. Like... You command your armies, like from a real-time strategy perspective, and then when you get into a fight, you actually control either your main character, and you battle people with it. Three DS counts. Three DS is the most current Nintendo handheld, not counting Nintendo Switch's hybridness. But yeah, I really want to do a playthrough of Kingdom Under Fire. I just keep getting distracted by doing other stuff because it's a really long freaking game. So I keep trying to do all these other things first, and then end up never going to do it. Oh, sorry Zero. I uh, stream to YouTube and Twitch at the same time now, so I'm talking to people that follow me on my YouTube channel. So, I can see everyone chatting, but you can only see the same people that are on the service you're currently watching on. <coughs> I don't remember how to beat this level. Yay, yes I do. Don't die! There we go. Okay, there's two doors out here. There's the one way, 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 way back at the beginning. Dude, I love my Saturn. I barely got a Saturn last year. And I love that thing. Like, nowhere near as good as a PS1, but it had some really awesome games. Yeah, I was a huge Nintendo guy until PS2 and original Xbox. And then I finally branched out. Yeah, PS1, man, that console... That console was crazy. So many killer games. I still prefer my N64 over PS1, but I mean, anyone that says PS1 wasn't a good console is a freaking moron. Oh! Oh, jeez, I'm gonna die. That was too close. Oh jeez, I'm really gonna die. Get out! <laughs> you still wish you had a PS1 or a Sega Saturn? Because PS1s you could get for like 20 bucks. Like, it's so easy to get a PS1, it's amazing. Sega Saturns are like 80 bucks though, so that sucks.
And the one I have has a somewhat broken laser, so I had to, like, try to repair it. And that was interesting. Only played PlayStation at friends' houses. Oh, I forgot that he was a trick! Aw, oh, man. Thought if you jumped on him from the top, you got the, uh, you gotta keep the cloud. Oh, jeez. You guys suck. Leave me alone. You have two PS2s, you're good. The thing about having an original PS1, though, is, um... Shoot, I can't remember the exact reason. I think it was, uh, audio quality was better on the original PS1 than PS2. PS2 emulation of PS1, I mean. I think that's what it was. I don't know. I'd need to look it up again. And I think another reason why I still have my original PS1 instead of just using the PS2 is because I have a PS2 Slim, and those have trouble emulating uh, some PS1 games. That I know for certain. PS3 is a great way to play PS1 games though. But... My PS1 with the uh, SCART and the Frame Meister is so much better than the PS3's upscaling. It's probably the only reason I don't use the PS3 for everything. That and I hate DualShock 3's. So, there's that I suppose. It seriously sucks to try to play PS1 games with the DualShock 3 when it uses the pressure-sensitive buttons. I was having so many issues with Mega Man X4, it was gnarly. And it was at the point where I did the, uh, like, those tons of playthroughs of the X games I was going through. And so, I was going through all those Mega Man X games, I decided to play X4 on PS3, and, like, I just could not do it for anything. Oh sure, now I'm getting nothing but stars. And I seriously blame it on the pressure sensitive buttons. Like that's the only thing I could think of. Like that's not a good it's not a bad controller for PS3 games, but it sucked for PS1. I might need to get a PS1 because because they're 20 bucks, so why not? <laughs> Dude, this fortress was fun. I, I really did enjoy this fortress. It was so challenging. And I just failed. Failed so good. I used progressive scan right cord off my PS2. The signal can't be tight. I'll have, to, I'll have to read that when I get to the next section. Hold on. Since the section moves, it's... I'm gonna die if I try to read chat. There we go. I use progressive scans, so when I record off my PS2, the signal can't detect any footage it's, if it's in a certain format. Yeah. Oh! Wow! Failure! Massive failure. 
Um, this is the forest fortress. Probably like the second most difficult fortress in the entire entire game. Oh, dude, feudal fairy tale. That game was fun. <laughs> I wish the one on PS2 had been fun. It still makes me laugh to this day how it was only in Japanese because they didn't even bother doing a localization outside of uh, subtitles and text. For the anime, yep. See, that game was so great. Oh, hey. The strength of Super Mario World is not so much in its level design, but rather its control and physics. I, I remember seeing that comment, but I never actually, like, responded to it. It's a lot of fun to get you because of how in control of Mario are. Yeah, totally agree. Like... It's the best feeling Mario game to me. Which is why it's my favorite. There we go. Who needs to get on your platform? Stupid Reznor. It's not a good game and it's not balanced, but it's fun. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, because um, the cutscenes would play at a different resolution than the rest of the game. I think they were higher resolution. Inuyasha is one of those animes where I can listen to either cast. I can watch it in Japanese or English just fine. Um, same with... Um, Shoot, what other one was it? Trigun I can listen to in English or Japanese. Um, I can't do Japanese Ghost in the Shell. I don't know why, I just don't like it. And I can't do English Blood Plus. English Blood Plus is disgusting. Oh man, I got the stupid fireball. Just sits here and rides on it and kills you. Yep. And I walked off into my death. <laughs> Fail. I'm trying to think of what other anime I could prefer in Japanese and English and just didn't care which would either way. Yes. No! I got stupid fireball again. There we go. Let's not just run off and die this time. That sounds fantastic. Oh, geez. Is this the one that had the, uh... Nope! That would be seven. Oh, jeez. Okay, goodbye, fireball. Hello, fireball. Hello, different kinds of fireballs. Ah! Oh, that was sketchy.
one of my sound editors for me, Sailor Moon S for Christmas. I have to watch it in Japanese and the dub is decent, but for what it's worth, but it's not like fun bad like the old one was. <laughs> it's just bad bad, not fun bad. It's awful. I remember watching some of the original Sailor Moon back when they were first airing. And, uh, I really don't remember much about it. You know what bad anime I really want to pick up? Mega Man. I want to pick up the original Mega Man anime. Even though it's bad. Just so I can uh, watch it and have all the nostalgia ruined. Oh, nice easy flying level. <laughs> it's so funny how easy it is. Are you doing a project on the new Sailor Moon? Is that why you have to watch it in Japanese? Or you just have to watch it in Japanese because the English voices suck so bad? Oh jeez. So much for that. Dude, I'm so jealous. I love those movies on Blu-ray. It's been so long since I've gone back and rewatched that whole series. I started to with my wife and we made it to almost the end. We were like on uh, the Princess Abby story arc. And then we just never finished it. So I need to go back and rewatch it. One of these days. One of these days I shall. No! Stop moving! You're right where I want you to be. Ha! Yeah. Seriously, two best characters in the entire series. Um... For, uh, for chemistry there. No, I'm not talking about that. I was just wondering if you were working on a project that involved Sailor Moon, and that's why you were watching it, but you're probably just watching it because... <laughs> So I just found out that Super Mario Maker can't do, uh, diagonal slopes. I didn't know that because I don't own Super Mario Maker. I knew it couldn't do water and everyone was all mad about that, but... It really makes sense. I mean, it's trying to emulate the original Mario Brothers engine. So... Why would it be able to do all this advanced stuff that you couldn't have done on the NES? Like, it's supposed to be able to emulate all those generations of Mario. It's supposed to be one, three, world, and new. So, of course, you have to cater to the lowest entry point. Okay. 
Dude, I forgot I didn't have a cape. I am so lucky I made that freaking jump. I just jumped off hoping for the best. Alright, I feel better. I feel more secure about my positions. Oh, bye, bye Yoshi. I'm sorry, bud. Get the images for the Are You Aware anime. Yeah. I read that comment. I'm not crazy. This is so slow. <laughs> Inuyasha is also one of those shows, um, going back to the anime topic, Inuyasha is one of those shows where I actually didn't mind the filler. Like, the filler was hilarious to me. Like, you go and watch shows like Bleach, and they're like 90% filler, and it's just terrible. Or shoot, DBZ even. So much filler. And it's not that great. But, I don't know, Bernie Yasha, I liked it. I don't remember the coin amount you needed to have to get the non-secret exit. It was something specific, which is why there's a ton of coins. More coins? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, Yoshi. Come on, dude. Get with the program. Dang. Okay. Well, yeah, we got a different one. That's good. Probably did that, maybe. I don't know. That jump's awful. Yoshi. Oh good, I didn't get it. I'm so glad I don't have a spare cape right now. Feather, I mean. It always just makes me bitter to lose a spare uh, feather to that. Wow, that frame drop though. Where are the dolphins? I'm playing on Dolphin. It's the Dolphin emulator. I'm playing the Wii Virtual Console version. And I'm also sitting on a dolphin skinned rug right now. That sounds terrible. I, I immediately take that back, Zero. Oh jeez. That worked out. No, Yoshi! No, it wasn't a- there was only, um, a few episodes of filler. Like, it's one of the better animes about filler. 
But I'm just saying, the ones that were there, I really enjoyed. It is made out of 100% dolphin. I love how that level just loops you if you don't get the right exit. See, they made this level smart and put a pole right in your face. So you can't do the uh, infinite fly cheat. Ah, oh, what the? I killed you. Get out of here. And then they did it again. It's like they caught on to the trick. Jeez, this platform sucks. There we go. There we are. Oh wait, you need to fly. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, um... Back after I watched the show, I wanted to... Like... 2008-ish? Like, after the show had already been done for a while, I wanted to see how the series ended. So I just... Read the, uh... Translated versions of the Japanese manga. And yeah, it was pretty great. <laughs> I'm so glad that they did do this. Did, did do. <laughs> that they did decide to go through and make the uh, Inuyasha the final chapter, though. Like, that was so cool. To see them actually finish the story in anime form. I think it's safe right now. Oh, jerks. Oh, jeez. Melodrama. It'd be interesting to read. I'm small. I have nothing to lose. Oh, don't do that. That was a bad idea. Hey, welcome, uh, Jemerson Patrick. I hope I pronounced that right. I've been playing for one hour, 50 minutes. Take a drink times two. <laughs> yeah, no joke. There we go. Let's do this. Dude. Yeah.
I love my YouTube community, uh, Zero. Got AT. Seafunk. Uh, save. Those are my, uh, three, uh, regulars there. Well, I don't want to say regulars. They're more, they're more special than regulars. <laughs> I don't know where the Twitch community is, man. I didn't build my Twitch community off of Star Wars, I guess. Like, I literally didn't even try to build a YouTube community, and I just uploaded, uh... Star Wars Rogue Squadron HD Texture Pack stuff for General Han Solo, and, uh, all of a sudden I had a hundred subs. So that's when I decided to actually try to do, uh, streaming, and that's when I started building my Twitch channel. I mean, Twitch ain't doing too bad. Got, uh, 98 followers on Twitch. It's a fair amount. Proud of it. <coughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, the entire point of my YouTube channel was just to, like, show off dolphin stuff originally. That's kind of what I'm doing now. This is how I built my YouTube channel, so I'm getting back to my roots here. they make an x-rated adaptation someday there's a market for it i'm sure i'm sure there is too man that's gnarly that'd be crazy chocolate island five i love how easy this level is compared to the grind that the last few levels are There we go. Yeah, we are making fantastic time on this playthrough. Like I said, the last time I played through this whole game 100%, it took me like four or five hours. We're already, uh, we're already approaching Bowser's front door at two. It's nuts. Oh, this castle, though. This castle's terrible. That was luck. That was luck. I want to say it was skill, but that was all luck. Like this thing right here. This thing is death. Nope, I just hit it. Crap. So, since you're here, Zero, I actually felt like I might be up for another Final Fantasy VI attempt. I just might do it. Yeah. Oh man, I just like 
failed that so well. That was a splendid fail. Oh, good. They give you a courtesy cape right before you fight Windy. Yeah, you started, uh, watching my stream during the Final Fantasy VI stuff. Dang it. I keep looking over on the left side of the screen and not the right. Yeah, Chocolate Island is amazing. I actually really enjoy Chocolate Island. Hey, uh, Marcos Tony. That's alright, man. We're just here to watch some gameplay, right? I'm, uh, I'm happy to have you here, man. Yeah, I never did finish Final Fantasy VI because my Super Nintendo decided to kill the save file. <laughs> Let Shadow steal all my items. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Dude, that Final Fantasy VI stuff was like so... the beginning of my streaming. Like, honestly, that's like when I first like was trying to figure out the majority of streaming. It's pretty crazy to like look at it now. <coughs> I hate this level. Wow, it's way easier to do this without a freaking Yoshi. Dude, I just want to suplex the train again, man. Like, let's all be honest with ourselves here. Suplexing that train was, like, the greatest thing in the world. Nope. The train had it coming. Yeah, it did. Dude, I seriously got creamed by these things. Oh! Ho ho ho! That was close. Suplex Mario. Dude, if I were gonna do a 100% no death, no Yoshi run, I would be here for days. If not months. I like to do stupid crap and die for no reason. Dude, we're already in Valley of freaking Bowser. Two hours in. I don't speedrun this game, so I mean, it's pretty slow, but... It's fast compared to uh, my last attempt. <laughs> we all had the same problem? That's so awful. Yeah, no, um... So, what I had been doing, I had been playing it on my model, my original model SNES, and I decided to play it on my SNES Mini, and I didn't realize that the power button was in the on position when I put the card in, so that's why the save got deleted. It was freaking awful. Like, felt so bad. Nope. 
And then I tried to play the PS1 version after uh, after that happened, and I was just like, dude, this version sucks. I ain't doing that. <laughs> another reason why I wasn't too upset that the save got deleted is because too many people started coming into the stream and telling me how to play it. Like, it was fun when you were BSing me, but like, when like those like five other guys kept coming in telling me how to do stuff, I was like, alright, I just don't care no more. <laughs> there it is! Perfect! Three people having a problem with the game cartridge, it's not coincidence, that's scientific. Something sinister at work here. Indeed. Indeed. You're totally right, AT. I didn't even think about this. This must be explored further. Dude, I hate this level. You just get crushed. Preposterous. Who would ever tell you how to play it? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Got pretty wild there. Oh man, I need a Yoshi. Not that it really matters, because you have to go through this part to get the secret ending anyway. But yeah, I'm going back for a Yoshi before I redo this level. No way I'm doing this stupid part twice. Crushed for no reason. All right, let's do this. Yeah. stage is boring. It is boring. It's boring and it sucks that you can just die so easily. Like right there, man. How do they expect anyone to get through that if they don't know to slide? Like, what if they're noobs, man? Pro tip, don't die. Pro tip, sliding is wonderful. And like this part right here, this part sucks! <laughs> See, sliding, sliding is the key to life. Oh man. Valley Fortress. <coughs> Seriously, this is the hardest level in the game. To me. This is my hardest level. Oh, dude, I didn't think I had flying. That was, that was a dumb mistake. That was a really dumb mistake. <laughs> 
Yeah, you know this place, Zero. Oh, wow. And then I just keep making dumb mistakes, so I mean, that's always fantastic. I'm gonna get wrecked so bad. You do way more research on these articles than you care to admit. Dude, that's so great though, man. That's why I like your reviews. Like, mine are just like these generalizations. Like, I don't go too in-depth with them. And that's on purpose. So I love it when you do one. Oh, what was that? What was that? That was gnarly. Like, I would love to do like a retrospective video. Which is more similar to how you do your reviews one of these days. I would just, uh. I would just love that. I would love to do that. Oh jeez. That's the problem with the cape, I take it too slow and just get cra get crushed, I mean, get cracked. Oh. And then the fire shoots up every time I try to do this jump. Oh jeez. Woohoo! Made it. Oh, and then just run into a fireball from uh Resnor. That was a uh, that was brilliant. The scroll, the scroll, uh, the scroll, <laughs> the score was 3.9 out of 5. This is why he never score things and hate critics and aggregates. Yeah, I can agree with that. Taking my bias out of the equation, most people I've talked to like or love Mega Man X. It's very true. I ended up giving it an 8 myself just because while I do love it and think it's great. Oh, no, I don't want to replay this level right now. Forget that. Oh, I can't skip it. Crap. You have to beat it without the secret to be able to start select it. Oh no, I'm pressing the wrong button for select. Duh. GameCube controller. I need... a Yoshi. Which of these levels... had a quick Yoshi? I believe it was this one. This level had Yoshi right here. There we go. Yeah. Even though I love Mega Man X, it could have done a few things better. Because that's like... I can never figure out where I want to place it in my top 10. My top 5, I mean. My top 3. But yeah. I totally agree with the stuff about scores, though. It's just most people prefer to have it, so... I decided to do it, and I do it for work, so I'm just kind of used to it. Like, uh, Ukulele, man. That game has been getting blasted out of the water. And every time I read one of those reviews about it, and I'm like, Seriously? You complained about that? You're complaining about this? You're complaining about that? And then everyone gives it these low scores, and it's like, no, the game was so... It's so good for what it does. This ghost house was tough.
so much luck reg not luck, but so much um believe we want this door. No, this door. This door for the first exit. Yep. Oh my gosh, how do I remember what these doors are, man? <laughs> it's so nuts. I have no reason to remember what doors these are. Yet I do. I do remember what they are. Like, I've played this game once in the last, like, 15 years. And I still remember it. Um, I'm actually gonna work on Freedom Fighters next. I love that game. Another not-so-great game that I really like. I think it was good enough, but... Not the greatest game. Oh crap. No! Okay, good. Oh crap, I did this way too tall. I did it way too tall. I failed. I failed at life. Dang it. <laughs> this is why this level sucks. Oh, what? I had been thinking about my history and my dislike for most game journalism. I think the first time it was a bad review of Paper Mario read in 2001. Which is driving me crazy to trying to figure out who wrote that because the game got rave reviews in its time. That influence your opinion until you played it. Yeah, no, that's the downfall. That's why I like. I don't know. Like when I start doing the professional reviews I do now, that's why I try not to like state too many opinions and just state facts. Because I mean, my opinion's the score, obviously. But. Just look at the facts. I feel like that's the most important thing. Ow! Hopefully I didn't flub it up this time. Oh no! Oh, this sucks. That sucks so bad. My grandmother said you have to learn English because one day you'll want to talk in the YouTube lives. Me. No, grandmother, I will use Google. The Lord. <laughs> that looking this over, it's not going to be up until morning. Need to fix some captions and timing. That's too bad. That's alright though, I look forward to seeing it when it's up, AT. So, 
little secret here. I actually don't watch a whole lot of, uh, people stuff on YouTube, so when I found your channel, well, when you found my channel and I went and looked at your stuff, I was really happy. <laughs> and, uh, for Marcos Tony, um, Espanol. I unfortunately, uh, don't understand Spanish either. I had a very racist Spanish teacher in high school, unfortunately. It ruined my desire to ever learn Spanish. No, that might be too high, crap. Yep, too high. Dang it. And then this stupid ghost is there. Ah, I need to just get a cape. Screw doing this the legit way. Alright, let's get a cape. I'm tired of trying to do this the legit way. Never works. time I had released that released that the following franchises are 100% critic proof Mario, Sonic, Pokemon, Zelda, Elder Scrolls, Tomb Raider, Fart, Final Fantasy, Halo, Call of Duty, maybe Diablo I don't know man people give Pokemon uh, some pretty harsh criticism sometimes Mario definitely um depends on the critic for Zelda I've seen some that just say they do no wrong, and others that say they never do right. Um, Tomb Raider didn't get good reviews until the reboots. Are you kidding me? I was excited because there's someone else playing Rogue Squadron on the internet. Dude. I like Rogue Squadron. I like Rogue Squadron 1 and 2. I don't like 3 that much. I keep trying to do 3 for Han to do his texture pack, and I just cannot stand the game. Like, it's just kind of boring to me. Like, the flying missions were eh, and then the on-ground missions just sucked. <laughs> so it's super hard for me to want to do the texture pack for the Rogue Squadron 3. There we go. I lived in Venezuela for a year and my dad's side of the family gives me crap for not knowing Spanish. They ruined my desire to learn Spanish. Dude, it's sad when people do that, you know? You wanna bring that grape soda up, please? Thank you. Cause if Marcos Tony is uh, speaking Spanish, like natively, I wouldn't mind talking to him, you know? Wouldn't mind that one bit, but... That Spanish teacher made me not ever want to learn Spanish. Alright, how do I cheese this again? I need these ghosts to go away. These ghosts ruin my life. So we get them all over here. There you go. I only need that one over there. Nope. That doesn't work. Okay.
There we go. Oh, yeah. 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 Mario, Sonic... I don't know how Sonic still sells well when the last, like, five games were all garbage. I might be wrong about that, but... Um, Elder Scrolls, that didn't start selling well until freaking, uh, 5. Like, 5 came out and all of a sudden everyone liked the franchise, it's like, really? I remember playing 2 and 3 and no one cared about this franchise. Um, Tomb Raider, again with the reboot, it started selling like crazy good. Oh, bye, Yoshi. Oh, bye, me. Um, Final Fantasy sells really well, yes. Halo, yep. Call of Duty, unfortunately. I'm gonna do a hate video on Call of Duty one of these days and, like, become famous over it. Call of Duty, the game that ruined the video game industry. Every game had to be Call of Duty. In order to sell, you had to make your game Call of Duty. While Call of Duty may have had interesting campaigns for casual player, the multiplayer exploded, even though it was the same thing every year. Oh, there you go. Okay, that sounds like a good experiment. <coughs> Call of Duty ruined Halo. Call of Duty ruined Assassin's Creed. Call of Duty ruins everything that wants to be popular. Yeah, that's my honest trailer of Call of Duty. I don't know. I think it's funny. I mean, if you like them, you like them. Who cares? But it's funny. But at the same time, Call of Duty started the trend of yearly releases and outrageous DLC. So I don't know. Maybe there's some truth in the salt. The first PS2 Tomb Raider game is complete garbage. Angel of Darkness, complete trash. That's why uh, Core went out of business and the franchise died. And then it got brought back with Tomb Raider Legend by Crystal Dynamics. That was their very first Tomb Raider game. And Tomb Raider Legend was pretty awesome. Like it brought the series back to being pretty fun. And so then, um, they, uh, released the Tomb Raider Anniversary, which was fun. And then they released Tomb Raider Underworld, which was trash. And then they did the 2013 reboot, and then Rise of the Tomb Raider. So those were pretty fun. But yeah, Angel of Darkness, like... Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3 were decent. Like, pretty decent games. And then 4 and 5 were crap, which were, uh... Dude, I need that Yoshi to get the secret. That sucked. <laughs> um... Chronicles and... Last Revelation, that's what it was. Those two were bad. And then Angel of Darkness on PS2. And then the company went under, because Tomb Raider sucked. I was considering doing a 
angry opinion piece on Call of Duty and decided, F it, don't want our channel to be an angry YouTube channel. No, don't do angry about it. Don't make it angry. Just be, just do an opinion piece. Just be like, hey, I think it's this, this, this. You know, like, you don't have to be angry about it. Hey, welcome back, C-Funk. Yeah, I'm still going, man. I told you I'm going to try to beat this game tonight. So, I mean, we're two and a half hours in. We're already at Bowser, almost, so... After that, it's just, uh... Special and... Star World. So, we should be able to do this tonight. As long as the kids don't, uh... As long as the kids let me. All comes down to the kids. Oh, fail. Funny thing about Call of Duty, you don't need to buy any of the games. Your friend already owns them, probably at least one. Yep. I, um... I'm not gonna lie, like I said, they're great campaigns for casual playthrough. So I buy them when they're heavily on sale and play through the campaigns. Now we're just talking about um, critic review scores and stuff. That's how the topic got started. Catch you up to speed there. But yeah, we were talking about how review scores can ruin a really good game for no reason. So I brought up the uh, example of ukulele. Great game, and it's like not even a game I like. Like the genre, the genre. I mean, I love the game. Surprisingly enough considering I hate the genre. Oh geez, that was close. And there's Star World, and another entrance to Bowser, and here is our last regular level. <coughs> and after this, it's all Star World and special. playthrough went exceptionally well for me. That never happens. When you stream stuff, things always go wrong. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'm, like, starting to get, like, a big head over how well this playthrough is going, and I know it's going to bite me in the butt real quick if I do that. But, you know what's awesome about doing these live streams, AT and C Funk? I'm using this as my new format for um, my uh, retro reviews. So I have you guys uh, have you guys uh, choose them for me, basically, and then I do a write-up, like I did those Super Star Wars games, and wrote up a little thing about them. And then I'm working on a Super Metroid one right now, and then I'll do a Super Mario World one. Like, it's been really cool. I've been really enjoying this. Hey, Douglas! Welcome to stream, man. Yeah, we are playing Super Mario World. I am very fond of this game. Aw, oh, man, I needed freaking dude to live so we could do this since I don't have a freaking feather. 2D Mario games are short. They are fairly short. Dang it, that was the worst place for that mushroom to have fallen. I want that. Oh jeez, the shell went right through the skeleton, that was kinda weak. This would be a fun game to watch speedruns of. Oh jeez. Nope. I'm running out of time!
Oh, thank goodness for the uh, courtesy cape. Alright, come on, come on. I got a minute. Easy. Oh, Portuguese. The final thought towards critic scores for me is that it, the bad reviews IGN gave God Hand and the GameSpot. GameSpot controversy when Jeff, yeah. Dude, that review he did for uh, Kane and Lynch, yeah, I remember that, man. That was so nuts. Like, that's the thing, though. Like, those bigger sites, when they get those paid reviews, is such a major thing. Like, it's so hard to find someone you can actually trust, because it's like, is that really their opinion? Or are they getting paid to say that? Totally. Um... Should have listened to my grandmother. Portuguese is a very difficult language. English is more. Language and distance separate us. Mario Brothers and dreams unite us. For sure, Marcos. I stand tall with you, brother. I haven't read an IGN review in like seven years. Two years enough. I'm sorry, I don't want to try to speak uh, your language because I don't want to butcher it. I hate it when uh, I try to speak a different language and butcher it. I'm a perfectionist about stuff. I want to sound legit when I talk to people. I am already butchering English. <laughs> it's true. Jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Get me out of here. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, are you kidding me? I walked right into it. After all that juking I did on that first one. Oh, sad day. Japanese is like the only language that I have a strong desire to learn. I was starting to learn it and I learned quite a bit and now I've forgotten almost all of it so I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Over there, I think. Over there. 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 You need to... I have to beat Bowser twice, C Funk, so I'm gonna beat Bowser, and then I'm gonna go do Star World, and then I'll beat Bowser again. Because you have to beat the back door and the front door, because they count as two separate levels for 100%, uh, 96 levels. So I'm doing the hard one first, and then the next one. Speaking and reading are totally different things. Yeah, no joke. I would never try to learn how to read it. I just want to learn how to speak it so I don't have to read subtitles. Yep, that's Mod Wife. Hey, who's Funk. Hey, oh, dude, that frog guy saved my life. Oh my gosh, thank you, Charging Chuck. There's, uh, 96 total levels. Quote-unquote levels. I call it quote-unquote because beating the Star Worlds with their secrets and their normal exits count as two levels, so it's kinda cheap. Not dirty one in kanji. Yeah, I wouldn't even know, man. I can't read it. <laughs> That's awesome that you did that, though. 
Oh man. Rusty at Bowser. Oops. I threw those both out. He only threw one out. Crap. Oh, were you kidding me? Can't stand Kanji. I know a little Spanish. Do you know how I know? Dora. <laughs> That's pretty great. That's great, C Funk. Thank you for that. I loved this Bowser fight. This Bowser fight was fun. Come on, Bow Bow. There you go. Oh, what? Oh, I can't pick it back up? Okay. Well, he'll drop that. I will jump over said thing. Nope. They both walked off a cliff and died. I see how it is. I see how it is. I am failing at this part of Bowser right now. This is kind of sad. You think this is the best Bowser fight in the whole main series? It's my favorite, that's for sure. Zelda usually has good final bosses, outside of a few exceptions. Ow. I wasn't that big of a fan of uh, Mario 64's Bowser fights. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Oh jeez. Oh, he killed it. The Twilight Princess final boss was epic. I don't know what it was about Twilight Princess, but I just didn't care for that game as much as other Zeldas. <laughs> Clown car creeps you a little bit. <laughs> Zero, she looks so beast. A <laughs> little bit. Kanji during the loop in the third segment reads library. Dude, that's a show I need to go back and rewatch. I haven't seen that in years. Freaking years. Okay. Why is she like 10 feet taller than Mario? Dude, she's just a tall chick. Just tall. Super tall. High heels, guys. High heels. That's it. High heels. Yeah, small small Mario is supposed to be the size of a normal adult, and then large Mario is supposed to be like super tall. So it just means Peach is a friggin' giant. 
Dude, they're walking on the sky because they just are madly in love, Zero. Just walking in the clouds. You think Twilight Princess is your second favorite Zelda? At least until you play Breath of the Wild. Did you read my Breath of the Wild review, Seafunk? Can't remember if you did or not. Peach will never get with him. Peach is already with him, man. I think that was my favorite thing about Skyward Sword, is they actually made Zelda interested in Link. Nope. <laughs> Everyone shot down that love idea. <laughs> That's alright. I love how it gives you, like, all of the enemies. Amazing flying hammer, brother! <coughs> yep. Sumo brother. Dude, I love the Switch. I'm glad the Switch is doing so well, man. Like, it's gonna get games. Because it already did so well. And I'm happy about it. Because that's something Nintendo hasn't had since GameCube. Well, Wii, but... They didn't have good third-party support on Wii, they had crap games on Wii. But then I was attacked by a fighting sumo! Twilight Princess was too linear for me, I beat it and gave it to a friend. I think my problem with Twilight Princess was, um, I had it on GameCube and got to the snow, the snow dungeon, the Yetis, and then I ended up getting the Wii, and I wanted to play the Wii version because I wanted to play it in progressive scan with uh, widescreen. So I started the game over, and I got to the last, uh, the sky dungeon, I got to the sky dungeon. And then one of my friends uh, would come over and play the game, and so I'd let him, and I watched him beat it. So I just never had any desire to beat it myself. And so, right before Skyward Sword finally came out, I went through and beat it myself. So, I mean, how many years discrepancy was that? Like, five years? Five years it took me to beat Twilight Princess? Fire Sumo! Fire Sumo! Where's Luigi? He's right there. So this game was dumb and didn't include a way to get off the screen unless you reset the console. So... Let's reset Dolphin. Reset! Alright, so we're at 77 levels. Aw, oh, dude, I don't have, like, 7 million lives anymore. That's too bad. That's just too bad. And I chose the hardest Star World one first. That's always great. <laughs> Fail! Oh man. Oh, failure. Double fail. Double fail! Those lives made the man, apparently. There we go.
Dude, mad props to Koji Kondo for everything. Like, just everything he ever did. And ever does. Still does. Like, he's the man that made Nintendo iconic to me. The music is the most iconic part of any game. Well, any good game. Oh, crap. Oh, that was close. If you don't have good music, the game just doesn't end up being that great. It's my story and I'm sticking to it, guys. Like, shoot, I don't think I'd love Halo anywhere near as much as I do if it didn't have good music. And a good story. Well, it used to have a good story until 5. That's Mama Luigi to you, Mario. <laughs> Comparing to the likes of famous mo movie composers. Totally. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's go get a cape. We need a cape. Still the best video game composer. Like, what was it? I think my favorite composers are Koji Kondo. Um, favorite composers ever, Koji Kondo, um, Hans Zimmer, Harry Gregson Williams, and there's one other, but I can't think of his name right now. Oh, oh yeah, Marty O'Donnell, of course. How could I forget Marty? Yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Hey, Marcelo, welcome, man. How you doing? This is, uh, we we're playing some Super Mario World. We just beat all of the overworlds. Now we're going to Star World. Clean. Oh, that was close. Oh jeez, I made it on top of this thing. That sucks. Can't do anything up here. Where am I? There I am. Alright, see ya Yoshi. I no longer need you. I hate how you can't get through these things easily. Alright, so that unlocks special. We're not going to tackle that yet. We're going to save that for last. So there's the two exits for that one. Yeah, tubular is stupid. Special world, yeah. It's just called special. It's just called the... Uh, Garbage. That's what it's really called. Just garbage. Garbage naming. Oh my gosh, I just want to beat this level. I really liked this level as a kid, but now I just can't stand it because it just takes so long. It's not really that fun to me. It's a good live builder up though. Everyone knows the only good Yoshi is a blue Yoshi. The level groovy is the level on the title screen, yeah. That was cool. 
I remember the first time I ever played it, I was like, what? It's the title. That made my freaking day. <laughs> and you let Yoshi eat that, and you get yourself a blue Yoshi. Seriously though, why do water levels just have to suck? No matter what game they're in, water levels are just terrible. Quick, someone give me an example of an actual good water level that I should try out. To try to change my opinion on this. No! Blue Yoshi! Blue Yoshi! Oh, I'll get another one right now, who cares. That was heartless. That was super heartless. I'm sorry, Blue Yoshi, you will be missed. Your sacrifice is not in vain. Setsuya Momoto is a big one for video games for me. Music quality in the next game has really suffered because he never came back. <clears throat> Water levels are terrible. At least the music is good. It's true. Yeah. It, well, but let's be honest, the quality in the X games overall just went downhill after 4. Well, after 3, according to a lot of people, but I enjoyed 4. But 5, that game was dumb. And 6, shouldn't have existed, so it wasn't that great. 7 was a disaster. And then 8 restored some of uh, some of the glory days, but not quite all the way. Dude, the underwater frigate re uh, reactor core in Metroid Prime is an amazing track. 100% agree on that one. Red coin fish music from Mario Sunshine. Music, less music from Echo the Dolphin. <laughs> um, my editor actually wanted me to play Echo the Dolphin <laughs> when I was saying I was going through a bunch of uh, dolphin games, virtual console games on Dolphin Emulator. I mean, he's like, you should do Echo the Dolphin, and I was like, well, I, I, I suppose I could. <laughs> Have the game. Blue Yoshi's make everything far too easy. Even more easy than capes. Mario seems something like. Superman and Freddy Mercury. Pretty much. Echo the Dolphin on Dolphin. Yup. It's a next level inception right there. Mario is like a simple Superman and Sonic is a simple Goku. Yeah, no, Sonic's totally Goku. He goes Super Saiyan. That's a perfect analysis. Mario is like a Superman that can be hurt, though. He's like a kryptonited Superman. 
semi-kryptonited Superman. The submarine level. Submarine level was eh. It was a cool little experiment. Oh, get back here. Come on. That's how you don't lose your Yoshi on this level, guys. Because <coughs> it freaking sucks to lose your Yoshi. Oh, jeez. Then I try to lose my Yoshi anyway. Eh. Same difference. Still turns Super Saiyan. That's all that matters. He kind of flies. X6 and X8 is that those games are always trying to kill you. Yep. Shadow is Vegeta. I'm on the crappiest level of the entire game, guys. This blows. I'm not happy. I'm so not happy right now. Oh, I lucked out on that one. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, one try. Are you kidding me? That never happens. That never happens. Oh, my gosh. That is amazing. So stoked right now. Silver is like a mix of Sonic, Trunks, and Raiden from Metal Gear Solid. Marimbu. Currently, Silver is voiced by Raiden's voice actor, Quentin Flynn. I hate Tubular so much. I hate Tubular too, man. You do have to beat every star level twice, Zero. You have to beat it once with the key and then once by doing the end gate. It's just how it rolls. Dang it. That killed me. No! I should have gone down the pipe. That was way cool, man. It was way cool. I'm waiting for all of you could, uh, you guys to catch up to me in chat. Seeing that. I'm dead. Yeah, okay. We're just gonna have to play the level legit. That was so bad. Okay. Yes, I know it was so bad. Times two, yep. It was terrible. I did the same thing twice. I was hoping I'd get on the t pipe again that time, Zero. That was, that was the thinking there. Mario Galaxy Luigi. Oh, jeez. Yes, please. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez! <laughs> oh man. Dude, I don't even know how I'm doing worse on this stage compared to Tubular, man. It defies logic. Just just science doesn't know, okay? Science just doesn't know. <laughs> I 
I don't know. I just don't know. I almost did the mistake again. Oh jeez. What's up guys? Yoshi, I miss you buddy. Oh jeez. I, it's been a long time since I've actually played this level legitly and I just died. I got a little poop monster in the butt. Alright, I'm going to top secret zone. I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm done with this nonsense. We're resupplying. Alright, we got tubular out of the way. But what the- I pressed A. Or B. Give me that. You know what's a horrible way to play this game, guys? With a GameCube controller. I love the GameCube controller, but they didn't remap the buttons right for a uh, Super Nintendo uh, Virtual Console. Like, oh, it's just so bad. Like, trying to play Donkey Kong Country in this game with a GameCube controller was gnarly. Definitely required a classic controller. No, I'm just playing in 1080. Take a drink for every time you have to use top secret area. Sounds legit. stages without Yoshi, at least blue Yoshi. I'm I'm trying to beat it like efficiently, Zero. I'm not trying to like slaughter myself right now. It sounds like a fun challenge for another day. In other words. This level's bad. Like this level's like tubular level bad to me. up in the sky. Like, what's up with all the flying fish? The flying fish make zero sense. I want slaughter and rage. You should have watched me play Super Star Wars then, Zero. Seafunk can attest to the salt that was going on on that stream. It's just a personal preference about that level, Seafunk. I, I just really, uh, was really bad at it as a kid, so I've never liked it. It's just, it's just as simple as that, man. Yoshi! Oh crap. Whatever. We'll sacrifice ourselves for the Yosh. For the Yoshmeister. Oh jeez. Okay, screw you, Yoshi. <laughs> they aren't flying fish, they're cheap cheeps. Big difference. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Bye, Yoshi. Good riddance. <laughs> Wait till you play Super Mario Bros. 2 Lost Levels. I did play Lost Levels, Seafunk. It was, uh, it was tough. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We killed each other. Mario loves to sit on the dino. Yep, Marcos. Very true. Alright. Come on, Mondo. We could do this. Get ourselves some items here. Oh. Mm, uh, so that happened. That's a thing. <laughs> Why are you back on this stage dying to easy enemies? Because I can, Zero. Because I can. Dying to easy enemies is the best enemy to die to. What can I say? Oh jeez, this stupid little uh, platform pushed me down. Alright, it's time for some fish genocide here. No! No! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I hate this level. Forget this noise. <coughs> yeah. Thoroughly wrecked. Thoroughly wrecked indeed. guys. It's gonna be my excuse. Mario can breathe underwater, Sonic can't. It's true. Although I'm not gonna lie, it's another reason that makes me hate Sonic uh, underwater levels more than most. Having to find the air bubbles was, uh, Pretty, pretty frustrating sometimes. Oh jeez, are you kidding me right now? Come on, you dang dinosaur. Moving on without it. It's just there to be my sacrifice anyway. Kill that fish out of spite. Labyrinth zone. Yep. Uh, what, what was it? That carnival level in Sonic 3 has forever made me hate that the carnival music theme. Oh, I hate it. Triggered. Oh, 
This is a pretty difficult level that you could just skip. Makes that level exceptionally easy. And the main event. And we're gonna skip it. Well, until we hit the pipe. by a baseball. You are <coughs> a super player. Double exclamation point. <laughs> and Seafunk on point in the chat with you are a super player. Ta-da! Now the whole world is broken. Forgot that. That's alright. It's alright. You can forget that one. Okay, so there's one last secret exit I haven't found yet. So we're gonna go get that last exit real quick. Yeah, it turns it into, like, mint chocolate ice cream. That's what I always thought of it as. So we have to unlock this star road right here. Anybody who said they beat Carnival Night without a guide is a liar. Um, I beat Carnival Night without a guide. On, I used a lot of save states. But I didn't use a guide. Does that count? So I believe that should be the last stage, other than the la um, Bowser back door, to 100%. Wow. Messed up the entire pattern right there, I did. And Michael says he beat it on his uh, first try. Congrats, dude. That level sucked. Those misses indeed, Zero. I know. I'm well aware. So let's go beat this Bowser mission. Or Bowser back door. This should be our 100%. Or I could just jump into the first thing I see and die again. That always makes me feel special. is Marvel Garden Zone. Yup. I hated that one too. I didn't like a lot of Sonic 3. Let's just put it that way. Um, I haven't beat Sonic 4 Episode 1 and 2 Seafunk, but from what I played, I enjoyed them enough. Like, I plan to beat them. I've been trying to go through and beat every Sonic game on my 360 for achievement purposes, and I'm working on Sonic and Knuckles still. It's the last one I've been working on. I beat the story as Sonic. 
So I still need to beat it as Knuckles, and I need to get the uh, seven Chaos Emeralds. And then I have that game 100%ed. And then I need to work on Sonic CD. And then I was gonna do Sonic 4. And AT says he thinks Sonic 4 stunk. Considering me and AT have similar tastes, I'll probably feel the same. But I won't know until I try it. More than the first level. Uh, one thing that's curious that I do remember about Sonic 4. The camera on the PS3 360 versions are super zoomed in. And then the Wii version was zoomed out. So if you are going to play Sonic 4, I think that's the way I would want to do it if I wasn't trying to do achievements. Like, it was weird. Sky Chase. You know, considering I just beat Sonic 3 like at the end of last year, you think I'd remember the game better? But I don't. Oh jeez. Come on, throw it out. Oh, I gotcha. That was lucky. Not getting that one. There we go. Mushroom Hills is my favorite Sonic music. Sonic 06, says Zero. I think everyone has the their own opinion about Sonic 06. Mushroom Hills, Mushroom Valley. Wacky Workbench Past or Trespasser from Sonic Adventure 2. You don't deserve that kiss. Thanks, Zero. By the way, I have a Monopoly on Twitch chat. Yes, you do, Zero. Yes, you do. Twitch is a very lonely place. It's okay. Anyone that wants a Monopoly, they can go over to my Beam channel and start ch chatting, and you get a free Monopoly there, because no one follows me on Beam, other than two people. <laughs> so, Twitch, I got one person in chat. YouTube, I got quite a few. If someone wants to, like, go and have a Monopoly on chat, just head over to my Beam channel. Sky Chase is Sonic 2. Where is your cape? I don't know, man. I put it on Yoshi's back so she didn't have to ride on the saddle or the shell or whatever it is he does. You guys watched that debate video? That was hilarious. You are right, thank you. I'll leave the Sonic talk up to the Sonic experts because, again, I've only beaten each of them maybe once. I think I've beaten Sonic 1 maybe two times. How do you stream on both at the same time and see the chat on both? I'm using uh, Restream.io, Seafunk, and they have a uh, chat um, program that you can install that lets you see the chats of everything that you're streaming to. And then when I type in chat, when I type in chat, it sends it to all the channels too. I thought you maintained the same sprite as you were after beating Bowser. I thought so too. I am a Sonic expert. I I defer to your um to your knowledge then, Michael, because again I am a I'm pretty nubbish when it comes to Sonic. I was a I was a Nintendo kid. My first Sega console was the Dreamcast in 2006. Wait, false. I had a Game Gear. I had a Game Gear in the 90s, and I played Sonic 2 on it. That was my only Sonic game.
and then I think the next Sonic game I played was Sonic Adventure 2 on GameCube. No Black Yoshis. Dude. Dude. I, I don't even know. Dude, I loved my Game Gear. I had, um, I had Sonic 2, which was awesome. Like, I, I could beat that game pretty, pretty well. And then I had Lion King, and the Game Gear version was actually pretty cool. Like, I think the Game Gear version of that game is better than the Genesis version of that game. <laughs> and then, Power Rangers the Movie. It was a fighting game. And it was fun to me. I, I loved that game. And that's all I ever had for Game Gear. I never had anything else. And then my freaking Dreamcast, man. I love that thing. Can't wait till we get our house and I can unpack it. credits in. I want them in the video, but I really don't want to watch them again. <laughs> for sure, uh, AT. I'm gonna be doing uh, Freedom Fighters for the rest of the week until I beat it, so I hope you can make an appearance. It's awesome to have you here. Same for all of you guys in chat. It's been awesome having you guys here. Love the interaction. That's honestly the reason I started streaming. It's just to uh, talk to random people about random stuff, and it's fun. So, get to learn more about Sonic the Hedgehog, which is never a bad thing. <coughs> so, um, if you haven't already, um, go ahead and click that sub button if you're interested in coming and hanging out more. Love to have you here. Um... Also, I'm on Twitter, so you could go twitter.com slash iStrike256. I like to post a lot of my uh, YouTube slash work-related stuff there. So I work for a company called Game Tyrant. We are a video game news website. I do reviews um, on current and retro games. So it's pretty fun. So thanks for stopping by, everyone. And... We will see you tomorrow. Dude, Zero, I need to go to bed, man. It's midnight and my kids wake me up at like 6 or 7, so... Nah, I, I only stream till about midnight nowadays. Otherwise, I'm just too... I'm too beat, man. Oh, yeah, and we also have a brand new baby, so... Makes it even more chaotic. So... For sure. But, yeah. If you guys want to talk more, just follow me on Twitter, guys. I love it. I love it. Save followed me on Twitter. Um, it was awesome. We talked uh, about stuff. So, I mean, that's an option. But, I, again, I will see you guys tomorrow around, uh, around the same time for some Freedom Fighters. I love that game, but we can talk about more of that tomorrow. So, until then, I'm going to sign off before I start rambling in circles.